Hey everybody, it's Wednesday morning, about nine o'clock. I'm sitting over here in Clearfield, in the middle of town, at a convenience store called Sheets, S-H-E-E-T-Z, Sheets. Nice convenience store right here in the middle of town. I left the house about 8.30. I just got bored of sitting around. I normally wouldn't have left until about nine or 9.30, but I'm gonna sit at home, I might as well just take a ride and take my time getting over there, over to the clinic. I have my pills with me and a bottle of water. My air conditioner pooped out already. It's not throwing any cold air at all. So it was about 77 degrees last I checked. Let me look. What the Jeep or what the van? 78 degrees right now. So it's going to be another scorcher, but no air conditioning. So I probably won't be videoing while I'm driving too much because I can't have the windows up it'd be too hot and maybe we'll stop along the way different places and check them out so that's the scoop on my way got my pills got my water and no air conditioning be back well here we are at Giovanni's Giovanni's little convenience store greatest barbecue in the 100 mile radius of my house might stop here on the way home maybe I don't know there's our gas 369 what is it 369 369 gallon 429 for diesel And it's uh, about quarter after nine. I'm just moseying my way over there. It's 79 degrees now. Didn't go up much since I left Clearfield. This is only 20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. So I'm just pulled off here with, they got a big area behind me where the tractor trailers pull off. Interstate is right there. Right there is the entrance to interstate. Turn right. And that's the entrance to interstate. Uh, turn right, and it's probably a mile and a half down the road, and it's Interstate 80. The Woodland Exit. Woodland. I don't know what the number is. Woodland Exit. W-O-O-D-L-A-N-D. Woodland. Exit off Interstate 80. And you'll get off right here. If you come this way and you want to get a good barbecue, stop here. They got all kind of stuff here. Pizza, barbecue, good coleslaw, macaroni salad, all that stuff. Nice convenience store. It's been here quite a long time. So I'm just sitting here, killing time. I was messing around. I looked on the map. I know it. Some of you will laugh when I make such a chore out of this trip. I know that. It's only 33 miles from my house, but I like to just take my time and stop here and there. Everywhere. It's not like I got anything else to do. But I looked on the map. It's 33 miles from my house to the pain clinic. So that makes 66 mile round trip. And I got thinking, what does the government pay for mileage these days? So I looked it up and it's 67 cents a mile is the current IRS tax rate for whatever they, not tax rate, but allowance, driving allowance, whatever, 67 cents. So from my house to here and back to my house is $44.20. Actually, that's not too far off, really. Gas would be... 60 miles, 60, my van gets 20 mile a gallon, so 66 miles would be a little over three gallons. And it's 369. 
So that would be, say, 370, 9, 10, 9, 10, uh, 13 something in gas, maybe 12, 13 in gas. And then the wear and tear in the vehicle, that allowance. So anyway, that was interesting. If you were able to write off your mileage, 67 cents a gallon. I didn't think it was that much that they paid. I mean, that they considered, allowed, however you put that. So, as I mentioned, no air conditioning. He said I'd be lucky to get through the week, but... Well, I didn't drive yesterday. I didn't go anywhere yesterday. So I brought it home. I got home 3 o'clock Monday afternoon, about 3 or 3.30. And I didn't go anywhere yesterday. So... Anyway, it's not that hot yet. Anyway, see how it gets. It's supposed to be a scorcher today, but it was a lot hotter. It's 79 right now. Yesterday at this time, it was in the 80s. We'll see. Doesn't matter. I just can't video the driving with windows up or windows down. But it's cool enough now. I mean, it's not that hot yet, so when I leave here, I'll probably do a little video. All right, then. Stay with me. Hey, well, I'm in Phillipsburg. About half hour to go before my appointment yet. Hold over here at the little kind of a mall they have. Got all the windows down. We got a breeze, so... It's not too bad with the breeze. Did the temperature go up? Temperature is 85. So 85 with a nice breeze, so it's not too bad. Got both windows down. It's blowing through there pretty good. I looked on Google Maps, we're about, we are 25 miles from Beaver Stadium where the Penn State Nittany Lions play football. And 35 miles from Altoona. You've probably heard of the Altoona Curve baseball team. Not professional, but... you probably heard of Altoona and State College. I bet State College for sure, because of the football. That's where we're at. So I'm getting ready to go over there. So we'll talk to you in a bit. Hey everybody, it's uh, about 4, 4.15, something like that. I got home from the, I got home from the not doctors about quarter after 12. I wanted to make the video, do some different things in the video on my way home, but to be truthful, when I left the not doctors, I got really sick. I don't know what happened. If it was maybe a little bit of heat stroke or something, it was terrible hot, especially in town there. And uh, everything went good at the doctor's office. But when I got out of there, I just got really, really didn't feel too good. So when I got home, I came straight home. I didn't stop. and do anything. I just came straight home. Came in, turned the air on, and sat in the recliner. Fell asleep for a little while. I had taken an Elka seltzer. I was feeling a little bit sick to my stomach. Anyway, I feel better now. It's four, around four o'clock, quarter after. I feel okay now. I think it was the heat got to me a little bit. So sorry I didn't get a better video up and show you some more things that I wanted to do but anyway that's what I did today 
and uh, it's stifling hot out right now. I just went outside to get my tripod and it was just awful outside. So uh, we're gonna stay in tonight and looks like tomorrow's gonna be the same. And I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow, so I'm gonna stay in tomorrow. Might have a video up tomorrow. Figure something to do, okay? Alrighty then. Take care. I hope you're all doing well in this heat too. Stay in, stay cool. Get drink lots of water. I did drink a lot of water too today. I had two uh, 40 ounces bottles of cold water that I took with me, and I drank them all. But I still got, I don't know, a little bit of heat stroke or something. So everybody take care, stay out of this heat if you can, and drink lots of water. It'll be over, they say, this week, and then maybe some relief uh, beginning of next week, at least for us here anyway. So, okay, stay frosty, deal out. <laughs>